Okay, so now I know I talked a little bit about how multi-purpose the all-purpose cleaner is. Uh, but there's also a lot of recipes you can use this cleaner for to make it more multi-purpose and more specialized for what you need it to do. I know I touched on the glass cleaner and the heavy degreaser spray and just it just is a different ratio of how much water to the cleaning solution you use. But also, there's this fancy little booklet that, and there's other booklets out there too and a bunch of recipes on Pinterest and all sorts of other places. But this booklet is just about different ways to use your cleaner. So here is, you know, the all-purpose cleaner. One cap full of cleaner to, you know, two to three cups of water. Easy, straightforward. One of our favorite, my favorites and Chris's favorites, um, so ways to use the Thieves Cleaner is to make a um, bathroom scrub. And there's a couple ways to do it. You can spray the tub with a Thieves Cleaner and then sprinkle baking soda on there. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and then wipe it down and whatever stains, because your bathtub is tend to get those hard water stains and those kind of grimy lines on there, come right off. Or if you really want to scrub, at, you know, maybe you have a lot of lime scale and a lot of hard water in your bathroom, in your bathtub somewhere, there is a deep cleaning scrub that is baking soda and then a um, cap full of the cleaner so it's more concentrated. And you just layer it on there and then you let it sit for about 15 minutes and scrub it with either like a scrub brush or a scrubby side of a sponge and that stuff will come off and it makes more of like a paste. So that's really nice for scrubbing your bathroom or maybe you have a lot of grease buildup on your stove and you just can't get it off because sometimes some of that grease is hard to get off. Works great for that. And there's so many other recipes for it. I mean, there's the glass cleaner. You can add essential oils to it. This recipe for the glass cleaner recommends you add citrus fresh in there and stuff. And there's a carpet spot cleaner, a wood floor cleaner. So really, there's so many things that you can do with the um, Thieves Cleaner. Um, it works great. The, the baking soda scrub works great on grease on stove tops. I've used it on that before. Um, it works, I mean, the thieves, the all-purpose thieves cleaner works great on glass, but if you're worried about streaking or whatever, you can use the glass specific recipe. It, you can use the thieves cleaner for, I mean, really anything, but you can, you know, I talked about in an earlier video, you can use it for helping strip laundry and things. You can use it for a lot of stuff and it is very multifaceted. Um, so this little book, like I said, has so many things in it. You know, the the carpet cleaner spot is just really diluted. It's one cap full of the Thieves Cleaner and six cups of water. So if you have a stain on your carpet, maybe you have pets and stuff, this will break down the bacteria in that pee spot on your carpet, which in turn makes it so they don't want to pee there again because it no longer smells like pee. And it should, it'll bring up the stain as well. So... I mean, that's great. We don't have carpet in our house, so I haven't used that recipe. But it's that's one of the key things about cleaning up pet spots is being able to break down the bacteria in the urine so that it doesn't smell like urine anymore. So other dogs and your dog won't want to pee on it again. So it's great to be able to clean those spots with something natural and then also get rid of that scent. Um, so this cleaner... I mean, how many cleaners can you buy that you can do, you know, clean every surface in your house with, without having to worry about it? Um, it's great. And I love the little booklet that I got um, that talks all about it because it is, it's great to be able to just look it up. And like I said, Google, Pinterest, all those places have tons of recipes for your Thieves Cleaner and different ways to use it. 